seven oh seven. I forget. I forgot. It's hella old though. Uh, it was when Blair went bankrupt. I got hella music though. I got a got a song with Scandal the Dark Lord. Shouts out to Scandal the Dark Lord at uh, Zoom. He called himself Humble Zoom. Uh, that's off Zoom's project. Uh, Story told, and that City Limits got like ten thousand views in two months. It's on CMC. Oh, did I got a? What else? I got songs. I got a lot of music, man. I, I didn't work with a lot of artists who are already established as well. Uh, my resume is pretty long. I've just been inconsistent with my career. I didn't even know I was gonna be rapping. Honestly, my cousin suckered me into this. They suckered me into it, man. Cause like this whole name, like my name, Monifer TTG Uy, because um, my name was Monifer before. That's what I was doing. They know this. But I had gave up rapping. I just let it go because it's really a hobby. I got three kids. So I, oh, and um, my cousin was like, man, come fool with us. We got this thing, TTG, we going, you know. I'm like, what's that? They like train to go. I'm like, the conglomerate is T-C-X-T-T-G. You feel me? It's the, the conglomerate <coughs> train to go. And that's a crew my cousins got. And they like, come listen to our music, come to the lab. So I started off just being like a critic, like, oh, I like that beat. Just being in the studio, like a Sandman at the Apollo, right? Man, why y'all why I end up in the group and, and rapping and doing all this stuff I didn't even want to do? Like it's cause rap is it's like smoke and mirrors, you know what I mean? It's like it's a what hobby. It, it's a hobby if you don't do something else with it. Nobody care about you rapping. What are you doing that makes you so different? Right. There's yeah. a bunch of screaming on the mic. Yeah. I could, anytime, like who cares about a bunch of people screaming on the mic? I go old school and I tell them I do what I like. I appreciate y'all inviting me on the show. I'll take my niner off, but you know how it go. I'm a, I run it like it's mine. They're doing what I want to do. I make them bow down. It's my time. They say do the right thing like Spike Lee. I'm old school like Hyphy, but I'm cold like Ice T. I'm chilling. Mm. I want to listen to Ice Cube, but if you don't like it, then middle finger to you. Because he might be telling you something about something that's new. You got to pay attention. Why does a squirrel know to pack all his nuts for winter? You over there hanging with losers expected to be a winner. I ain't no sucker. I don't want to be nobody's dinner. I do what I want. I'll pull up and get up in you. But I want to be cool. I got to calm down because I didn't mean to freestyle. I kind of get it. I'm kind of a clown. I'm just saying, bro, that's what I do. I just make stuff up yeah. off my And um, that's how I started rapping. I figured out I liked it. You know, I like Dr. Seuss. I like rhyming. Um, even growing up as a kid, I learned with multiplication rock. So I never really knew multiplication. I just remember the song like one mm. time one. And I just sing the song like, what was nine times eight? I sing the song. It's memory. None of that stuff matters to me. I don't care about none of that. You know, like I'm very simple. My kids are everything. My mom, my dad, they still married. I'm, I'm just a normal, a normal dude, man. Um, I just got to imagine grow up different. Kids ain't like me, man. I'm a different type of being, man. I'm different, bro. I'm not like everybody else. I like, I like to be by myself, but I love people. You know, like, I don't need to be around a bunch of people until I got to do what I got to do. Like, this is dope to me. I love to be in here and all that, but it's not something that I, I do so much, so I don't have to, you know, I don't have to stay in one lane for too long. But they say I would get further if I focus on one, so I might, I might have to think about what I'm doing. I got a lot of stuff going on. Can you tell us about your, would you tell us about your clothing line? Well, my clothing line, it's, it's not just mine solely. Uh, shouts out to Soldier Hard and Cousin Bank, two of my partners. Uh, Soldier Hard is a, a, I don't know if he's he's ex-military, but he's got two tours in Iraq, man, and he just got a deal with the uh, VA. He's actually got PTSD therapy music, man. He's actually a military rapper with a label called Redcon One Music. So he's one partner, Leo Famous. And you got Cousin Bank, miss him. He got Freckle Face, and I've known him my whole life since school. He actually introduced me to Slapmaster. The day he took me over there, I did my thing and he couldn't come with a verse for some reason. It was hella weird. It was like God's way. It wasn't his turn yet, but he's bigger than me. You know what I mean? Right. So he's still my folks. Um, so it's us three together. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we rocking, you know, we got basically Vallejo Famous is pretty much it's a mind state because per first thing people like to say is I'm not from Vallejo. Well, it's not even Vallejo. It's about all the people who got influential minds. And oh, brilliant. I want to get one that made it like Sly, uh, Sly and the Family Stone. You got Confunction. Right. I'm really from Vallejo. If you're really from Vallejo, no, no offense to the newbie, but Sly and the Family Stone, those guys were called Project Soul before. So that was the name of the group first. Uh, mm -hmm. You got uh, her, her the, the one that just won the awards, yeah. her. Just Sly, she from Vallejo. 
SOB RBE, they're not together no more, but you know, they're different, they separate, but they they from Vallejo, uh CC Sabathia, CJ Anderson, the, the list goes on, man. So I said, we say Vallejo famous. And um, you know, we're original. We ain't copying nobody. No offense to nobody who has non-original. I just like to point things out that make us why fit yeah. in when you stand out. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's all. Like, uh, you know, I see Vallejo hoodies with like the Tennessee whiskey bottle, ours is original. You know what I mean? We don't got no California license plate, nobody else's stuff. This one is the Jeff Gordon edition. What we do is we take any influential mind or brilliance from Vallejo and we make it. We got a CC Sabathia edition, a Willie Calhoun edition. I got my own. Willie Calhoun is my cousin. He played for the Texas Rangers. Uh, you know, just, just, just that's how it started. And we got all the high school colors and we got kid clothes and it's our way to just say, Belil, we love you. We want to be famous for something other than per capita shootings or some BS that they want to entertain. You know, I ain't with the negativity. I spent so enough time. Are they, where are they available? I want to put this, okay. we're going to put this into our messages. Yeah, I got a website. Uh, it's ValilFamous.com. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You go to Com, you can see all our music videos. You can sign up for the uh, the mailer. You can actually order stuff. And it's by appointment only. You can meet me at the store or I can deliver it to you. Um, you know, of course, normal hours. Right now, I'm not gonna, you know, do it. But if you want it, whatever color, just say what it is. Uh, add me on whatever platform. I can give you a link that'll get you all my platforms. Just follow me, man. Okay. You on your Facebook so, as well. So, I'm about to. Uh, I'm sending the links to all your guys' pages. You're putting oh, it on. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm to trying it. to figure out. I'm on Facebook Live let, too. Let me bounce back. Let me bounce back. Well, pardon? Let me bounce let me bounce back so I can go to my Facebook screen so yeah. I can share it everywhere. Yeah, right please. on, man. Right on. Uh, bro, how we going to big? Look, look, check this out. Remember the movie House Party? Yeah. Without Bilal, man, that ain't have nothing, man. And they stretch. You're right. You're right. <laughs> it ain't right. good. You're right. Hey, watch out, man. You know, you got to have a DJ, man. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely, <laughs> bro. Definitely. Bruh. Hey, how the mailman gonna get the dunk if uh Carmel, I mean if uh Stockton don't throw it to him or, or right. vice, you got Gary Payton, you got you know what I'm saying, Sean Kemp, you know what I'm saying? You got come on, bro. Ain't no Jordan without Pippen, bro. They ain't no, not at man. all, man. And not he the go. Much oh. love, man. Jordan, man. It was a different type of basketball back then. But give me a second. I'm gonna go to my Facebook and share that okay. link. You. Okay, good. Yep, good. I got it in my hold on. <laughs> You share it Anna, in. what's up on the news side of the world? The news side of the world. Okay. So um, our favorite. Okay. So the British Museum is opening back up. It's one of the last ones in Europe to be opened back up. And while they were shut, they were trying to deal with some of the issues that, you know, we're real interest, interested in here. Um, okay, and oh. minute. You got a link? I don't see it. Okay, I, yeah, because I guess you have a setup where I can't. So I posted it inside your uh, messenger. Oh, okay, no problem. I put it in your messenger. So they won't let me do it on your page. Okay, no problem. Y'all be having too many people trying to tag me and stuff. Yeah, no, no, I understand that, dude. I just like that, too. I'm about to put none of that in my stuff. Get out of here. That's okay, so out. after being closed for 163 days by the coronavirus pandemic, the British Museum, while the museum was closed, they altered several exhibitions to clarify its links to slavery and colonialism. Lamont, one of the things we like to talk about a lot is museums and history and accountability, artifacts. We believe that all the shit needs to be sent back. So we report on that, okay? This is like thieves and plundering. So one of the things they did at the British Museum was they moved a bust of Hans Sloan, who was a physician and collector and collector, and his holdings formed the basis of the museum when it was founded in 1753. That's how long that shit's been around there. Um, <clears throat> Sloan is no longer simply celebrated as a natural history collector, but labeled a slave owner. And the vitrine contains, and the second uh, was the creation of a guided this. route around the museum called Collecting an Empire with plaques that explain how certain items had made their way into the museum. Like this was ripped off. 
basically. So that so that's that's good, and you know, it's just a big argument and very interesting and you know people need people need their history and you need to understand that the stuff that you're looking at in museums didn't just spout up there somebody took it and you know when you take people's his you're taking you're not only going in there to a country and like ravaging their natural resources you're taking people's history so a, there was a stolen calligraphy scroll that said to be worth millions and it was found in Hong Kong. It was cut in half. People steal this and cut it in half to like make, make money. So yeah, so that's that artifact. artifact. Lamon, are you back? He has, to, you know, he has to unmute it. Okay. Okay, so you, there you go. You talk, you're talking about certain history or are you talking about my history? Yeah everybody's history oh, okay because like everybody history ain't the same though well yeah like, exactly so like like me people don't know like my last name ain't really what my last name is because of whatever reason my grandpa rest in peace he didn't feel like he you know needed to put his name on my dad's birth certificate so people who think they got the same last name no we're not related that's not my name i'm not going to disclose what my last name is just know that i got a lot of secrets that i, I found out as an adult and then it's like you know, then we can go back to American history. American history is, is a lie in so many ways. So it's like uh, the history books need to be fixed. You got people like James Earl Ray. You got people who think that George Washington Carver just made peanut butter. He did so much more than that. He helped mm. do stuff with plant research. They castrated the man, had him all on. That boy was a genius. They had him in like a sweatshop making hella inventions. They need to do more. They need to give us 31 days for African and uh, Black History Month. They need to get respectful with it. You feel what I'm saying? And I feel like people need to listen to what Ice Cube's saying. I'm not saying vote for Trump. I'm saying listen to what Cube's saying. Cube ain't never been a liar. He's been a genius since he came on the scene. He worked himself out his own contract and told him to get away from uh, Yeller, whatever his name, Jerry Yeller. I don't know his name, whatever his name is, Jerry Heller, whatever his name. He said, get away. He was smart since day one and was on a school, going to private school. Ice Cube probably didn't said more smart words than people even know how to spell in their songs. And shout out to my, my partner, Dub. I never steal. I got that from my partner he said man that dude no more words than you probably could spell <laughs> than he yeah. said in song you know so i feel a certain way about history i don't want to offend nobody but christopher columbus got a whole day and all he did was pull up on land and claim it and it was already here like bro get out of here with that i'm yeah. not celebrating that uh we need we need to talk about more things that's gonna help us we need to talk about domestic violence awareness we need to talk about mental health we need to talk about what happens to a person who grows up differently than somebody else you feel me? I'm very intellectual when I talk, but I, I would have you meet my parents and you would think that, like, wow, that's your son, because I did the opposite of what they would represent. But Vallejo represented a certain image at the time I was growing up. So I got in trouble with a lot of people and some of us made it, some of us didn't. Some are in prison, some of us are dead. Some of us, you know, it just it is what it is. So I, when we talk about history, I like to say it's his story. Yeah. I, I got my story. My history don't reflect everybody else's because I made different decisions, you know. Some of my other friends, that's why I'm writing a book because my book is basically about the decisions I made growing up. And my friends knew what I had growing up at the house. Um, and if I realized it, I probably wouldn't have been friends with certain people who had dysfunctional households who didn't have both parents. Not saying I'm picking on them, but if birds of the same feather flock together, I'm not gonna be successful hanging out with things that don't match me. Even, right. in, a ch even in a children's movie, they acknowledge being different. I don't have to say it's racist, but it just shows you that you're different. On uh, the land of Land Before Time was one of it's still one of my favorite movies. Uh, uh, you you know that movie? No. Well, the movie about some dinosaurs who who you know they basically the world's about to end for them, and um, they're looking for an area where there's more vegetation and more plants to be prosperous. It was like a, wasn't that like a cartoon? Yes. And yeah, I remember that. Littlefoot, he says he basically finds a triceratops to play with named Tara, and they. Play they doing their thing and the daddy comes snatch up Sarah and say, Sarah, three horns, never play with long necks. And, and Littlefoot gets to asking, Sarah repeats to dad, yeah, three horns, never play with long necks. So Littlefoot get to ask his mom, like, mom, why do they do that? Like, because we're different. It's not that it's racism. It's just everybody, animal kingdom stick together. You don't see cats, cats and dog houses and vice versa. And nobody, they stay with each other. So it's like, when it comes to history, it's only gonna reflect those who, like 
my boys that are white, they can say, oh, yeah, I know my grandparents. All the, I know all my family all the way back to the original one who started it. I can't do that. I got to do a 23 and me and try to figure out who is this and who is that. So history is just a tough it's a tough topic for me because yeah. my history is history. So why should I unless I'm concerned with it and I come to you to ask about it? I really wouldn't. It's like irrelevant to me because it's a tough subject because. First of all, look at my last name, my dad. My dad has sisters. It's just a tough thing because I wasn't even here for this. These are decisions that were made before I was here. That's how cold the world is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody start off the same way. You could put a baby on the floor and let him play with a venomous snake. And unless you tell him or get the snake, the baby just going to play with it like it's a kitten or a puppy. Yeah. Until, until an adult comes along and tell him, hey, that's a three horn. Don't play with him. You're a long neck. You feel what I'm saying? Until somebody tells you that you're different or that you can't. I like to compare it to the movie. Uh, are you familiar with um, Remember the Titans? Yeah. 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 One of the best movies ever created because it teaches you how it ain't about them liking each other. They grew to love and respect each other yeah. on that field. But my point is the boy Petey told Sunshine, who came from California, which is a different light, that, oh, yeah, we're just going to go through the front of the restaurant and get food like they always do in Cali. Petey was like, nah. You know, and they go in the back. See, I told you it was mad because it's like, bro, we second hand citizens. Like I got a podcast called Blackmail and on Blackmail, I just talk about how in America I can pay for what Tyrone did. Not that I want the police to get killed on every traffic stop. It's that I just don't understand why they pick on us. You know what I mean? It's I understand because it's what they depict in the media. So it's like. I can't get mad at an old lady who gets scared of me because somebody who looks like me robbed her on an elevator and took the purse. Everybody has Trump. So before Corona came, I already had six foot space, you know, six foot distance. So we all have a bubble as a human and you're supposed to be vocal about it. But since I'm not timid, I'm an aggressive being on the planet. You know what I mean? A lot of people want to say a lot of things, but they're just too scared. Yeah, it's true. They, Oh, I've, I'm vocal. You know, I'm going to tell you how I feel and I'm going to communicate and um, I don't want to offend nobody, but somebody always finds a way. Just like when you do rap music, somebody always finds a way to blame what they did in life on a song they heard when it's just entertainment right. or uh, it shoots up the school because I played Grand Theft Auto online. And that's an excuse. Just like if the teacher asks you for your homework and you don't turn it in, everything's an excuse. If you don't got that paper, bro, your dog ate it, it blew out the window. You don't got the paper, young man. We're going to mark it incomplete today. So what did you mm. this morning? Did you stick around for it? Yeah, I'd love to hear your, I'd love to hear your you, perspective. I'm going to tell you why I left. Yeah. There's, a, you know, politics. When people are in politics, they use different platforms to get notoriety. There was a gentleman there who was accusing Mr. McConnell of some things I'm not going to address because that's their business. But he was kept on saying it over and over while the lady was on the podium trying to talk. I'm big on respect. I don't yeah. care if a different language um i'm gonna hear him out and dude just kept saying mr mcconnell mr mcconnell i'm like excuse me sir can you you know can you chill out or wait for later he, he it was a it was about badge bending okay nice. and that's a tough it's a tough topic that any news reporter would be an idiot april o'neill with the ninja turtles would pick up that story so why <laughs> pick that day of all days to talk about this so i got it i kind of got it irritated and started to tell him hey bro chill but you know, I'm, I'm on a platform where I can't afford to really show those type of colors, but I'm big on respect. So I told him, hey, take that across the street and wait till this is over. So my discomfort and my aggression got the notoriety of the FAM activist group. They was out there, one of the gentlemen, they was like, hey brothers, calm down. And I was like, am I wrong? He was like, nah, you're not wrong, but this ain't the time for that. But I was being respectful because that ain't the time and place. Like people was trying to rock. And I left because it was uncomfortable too. People walking up to me, man, we here for domestic violence. Why would I be concerned about anything HB got going on or anything about a petition? We're not here for that right now. We can yeah. talk po politics groups. Let's be respectful. Just focus on domestic violence victims. You know, I, I'm doing more than talking about it in a group. I got different profile pictures that's posted for two weeks. Anybody wants to donate can donate. You feel me? It's more people do more on social media with negativity than they do positive. I'm social mm -hmm. on media. Yeah. I'm I agree not here with that one. I'm trying to do something, you know, to do something better. I already did all that dumb stuff already. I'm 34 years old. I just look like this. <laughs> you, know? Hey, you know, I was gonna ask you, man, what do you what do you prefer to be called, man? Man. You got you added me to two profile, but I'm I'm like you know what I don't know what he really want to be called. 
Man, honestly, man, you can call me what you got on the profile. My name is Lamont. My name is Uwe. Any different names, man, it don't even matter. It's like, just don't call me nothing that um. It's like this. If you call me something and I don't like it, I will respond to you. But it ain't what they call you. It's what you answer to. That ain't on my birth certificate. I'm not going to use no energy for it. So just use whatever you got, bro. Whatever you feel. My family call me Uwe. Uh, my rap name is TTG Uwe Monifer. Uh, okay. My name is Lamont Jones. I sell cars at a Nissan um, in Vallejo. Uh, people know where I'm at. I promote every day. Um, but, but I work I work for the Rock, Wise Auto Group. You know, I don't mind, man. Everything I do is is legit. You know what I mean? Slow nickel better than a fast dime. I ain't doing nothing. I ride around Vallejo with my name on my car. So, I mean, if you're looking for me, just look for my car with my name on it. I'm right there you here. Go. Okay. There you go. Ooh. Ooh. Like it ain't nothing, man. I'm just trying to bubble, man, and stay out of trouble, take care of my kids. Really, the goal is to do what I'm doing full time. I love selling cars. I love the car business. But I ain't going to lie, I don't want to retire from it. I want to just make a lot of money, take care of my family, and and get to what I love to do more. Because 12, you know, 8, I work so many hours a day. I go back to work in November, man. I took off because I had a lot going on mentally. Um, selling cars, it's a lot of pressure. Um, but I make it that way because I'm real competitive. I know what I need to do now. I'm going to be a team player and stop worrying about numbers and stop tripping. But I'm a, that's another time. But. What I'm saying is I took off work because my dad had a hip surgery. My grandpa died during a hip surgery. I got a song called Pain and Suffering where I talk about that uh, when my grandpa died. Um, it was a routine hip surgery and he went on an airplane. I guess they didn't tell him it ruptured and he bled out. He died from the hip surgery. Oh, man. Sorry to hear that, dude. Nah, I appreciate it. It, it bothered me a long time. Um, and It's okay now. You know, I understand things happen, but it's like my dad had to get the same hip surgery. So I was worried about that. And then, um, you know, it's pressure. You got to sell cars, man. It's like being on a football team. You don't all got to score. Being on defense, you got to stop scores. So it's like, bro, <laughs> you got a job to do. And then, um, you know, just, just stressing. And I had a baby. Uh, me and my wife, we had a baby. So it's like uh, we trying to pretty much – she didn't want to – she had to go back to work. So she didn't want to just, like, have them straight with a babysitter. And then, so I took the paternity thing. People are like, they have that for men? Yes. You yes, they know. do. You gotta go check in your rights. Yeah, they do. And then I took time off because I got teenage kids too. I got a 15 year old son named after me, and then I got a daughter that's 14. Um, and you know, so my other son's seven months. So we got a dog. We we doing what we doing, man. We living, man. It's all about family. My mom and dad still married. I'm blessed, man. I got all my teeth in my mouth. I don't have nothing to be mad about, man. Because when you made your life as hard as I had, I deserve to get to talk like this. You feel what I'm saying, like. People know I was just an idiot in school. I did anything for laughs. I was a dummy. I mean, I'm real smart, though. I was always good. You know, I could tell you all the states and capitals now from fifth grade. Like, I'm real good with memory. I'm not good with names all the time, but I know where I know you from. Like, I remember you. Like, you know, I'm real respectful. I only get disrespectful when the disrespect is there, but I'm getting better now. I'm learning to block people. I just started that. Politics taught me to block people. Oh, yeah, yeah I'm doing that big time. This is boring. <laughs> What's it like to be, how is it for you being like a parent in Vallejo? Well, honest to God, truth, I don't live in Vallejo. People oh. know this. I don't live in the city, man. I left Vallejo in 2009 when it was like bankrupt. And oh. uh, my, yeah, I, I lived in Vallejo though, my whole life before then. Uh, I lived on Verbeas right across the street from the dairy. It's called Got Clouds now where the cows on the roof, the drive through store yeah. in Vallejo. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm from East Vallejo, but long story short, I left because I didn't see my kids having a future. A lot of shootouts, a lot of violence. So I don't, you know, I don't care what people say. Elevation, sometimes it requires separation. And I didn't need Nipsey Hussle to die for me to learn that. You know, I've always been fascinated with Mount Everest, always been into National Geographics, uh, you know, uh, Bob Ross. Uh, I grew up on reading Rainbow. I'm just a different type of kid, man. Okay. I played with action figures to like fifth, sixth grade. You know, I played for, you know, play with toys. Some people didn't, but I, I didn't have nobody to play with till my sister came along in 1990. And, they named her Ariel because my dad seen the Little Mermaid. So it is what it is, man. I got two sisters, you know, so and some nephews. I'm just a family guy, man. I'm I'm working on it though. I'm trying to people don't understand how it is when you really trying to work on yourself and uh you face your demons. Like I grew up, I grew up pretty good, I would say, you know, middle class home, I would say. Not the best growing up, but my dad always try to provide work. Mom's still married, two sisters, you know. I mean, I'm fortunate, man. I don't really have nothing to complain about. 
I made my bed so much. Like I could have just did a straight and narrow and I just did the opposite. But I think I got a lot of stuff I got to deal with from my childhood with my pops and the things we did with each other that didn't pan out right. A lot of disappointments on my, be- my behalf. And, you know, I'm just trying to grow up over here. That's why I went to the domestic violence thing today because I actually got one on my record. You know what I mean? And I know what it feels like for people to have to deal with those demons. Uh, yes, it's about the victim, but you got to understand somebody who grew up not seeing that in a home, they don't have nobody to blame it on but themselves. And you don't want to, that's how suicidal thoughts get into place or depression gets into place because you beating yourself up because you see them, how upset they are about an accused, but I've been forgiven. My family's still intact. I went, you know, I, I went to the, the batterers program. I, I did my time. I paid, uh, I paid my debt to society. So, you know, he, without judgment, cast the first stone. You feel me? I'm old school. So I don't pay attention to none of the naysayers and what I'm trying to do. And pretty much I get positivity, but on Facebook, it's all context issues. People put all caps and you think they're yelling at you. Call my phone. I drop my number like I'm dropping a car sales ad. Call me. (laughs) Bro, it's it's too much energy giving in. I got an ulcer from worrying about everybody else. I got a hoodie on and I ain't sweating. That's not normal because I, I got a carefree attitude now. I was walking around for like two months with an ulcer and didn't know. Wow. That's not I, good. Yeah, you know I, mean? I got a lot of luck. Nah, but I care too much, and that's the problem. You, you can't care about somebody's life more than they do. It's like, say, you dig ditches for a living. We both got shovels. How am I going to dig my ditch if you're not digging yours? Yeah. We got we to gotta use your shovel, too. You yeah. feel me? So, like, I'm starting to be just more uh, nonchalant about it. I'm, I'm just minding my business, man. The goal is to pick, get picked up, and then... Um, you know, do this music full time. That's why I got so many different avenues. You know, I'm in the cannabis department. Um, I don't condone anything illegal. It's a cannabis club. Uh, okay. What is it? Represent, you find- represent a, are you a brand ambassador? Or? Yeah, I'm a brand ambassador. It looks like this. If you ever go to the cannabis club, we color coordinated today. Now, I didn't do that on purpose. It's just Jeff Gordon dropped and it's called We. Uh, it's like 20 and change. It's on Weed Maps. You can get it at VRC. You can get it at Plant to Sea few clubs in Vallejo, but it's called Uwe. Support it. We appreciate you. Oh, uh, at adults only, Prop 65, we're not promoting doing drugs. Don't dry, uh, do drugs and drive or any of that. Operate machinery on the back. It has all of the information. It has 24% THC. It's a pre-roll. Everything good to go. You just need a flame. All right. But no kids. It's not a game. All right. I don't yeah. condone. It. Yeah. Oh, I'm, you know, that's just been. It's one business. Of, you know, I always to see. I, I, yeah. I'm a business mind. You know, I, I do a lot of stuff for the positive people. I usually don't even let people know, you know, that I'm a part of it because people like to get biased. But it's like I'm not condoning it. It's like, it's like selling a like E40. He sells alcohol, but if people get a DUI because they had E40 liquor, you can't blame E40. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Oh, he crashed the car. They were drinking Earl Stevens Selection. Like, come on, bro. They crashed. They knew they wasn't supposed to do that. You know. So it's like I don't don't it but it's legal it's legit it's on weed maps all the information's on my facebook um i got the clothing line shots about the family you know you know i've said enough though man i'd rather kick back and let you do it i feel selfish you know we got time it's only been 30 minutes and i'm talking like this you know i'm gonna kick back man, nothing wrong with it man nothing I'm, wrong we got two hours i like to be smooth you know what i mean uh, <laughs> i don't know how i'm gonna play my music if i could play it in the background would that work you know what I don't know. I got yeah. some of your music. I got oh, two of your songs so good. on Spotify. Yeah, because she had told me that she wanted to talk about whatever, some music and this. I said, I don't really want to talk about politics because politicians get on my nerves. It's all yeah. a bunch of characters and who did this and who did yeah. that. It's right. Cool yeah. stuff. I can't do it because I'm too, I'm too thorough for that. I'm too genuine for that. I don't really, I don't need to like you to respect you. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, okay, whatever. Bye, like I don't care, bro. Like I got bigger fish to fry. Lots of different, lots of different stuff. Yeah, I don't care that much opinions and all that stuff unless it's gonna benefit both of us, you know, on a positive pro social. It's okay for us to agree to disagree, but I mean, if you like, I like. There's ain't nobody got to get knocked out because of that. You know what I mean? So look, I mean, like, bro, it's not that serious. I don't get a check from the NFL or the Niners, so it's like. I get a check from Valel Famous, though. So, I mean, it's like, <laughs> it's love, you know? So, it, 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 I just try to be as humble as possible, man. I'm only talking this much because you invited me here to do this. 
other than that, I'm moving around like, you know, quiet as a church house mouse unless I'm promoting something positive. You know, even people get at me crazy on Facebook. I don't even be tripping off them because it's like they don't know me. They just think I look, they just judge me by who they seen off TV or whoever they know that's loud or whoever they, you know, that's what they do. People judge people every day and say they don't. Right. Well, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's, but I, I understand it's sheep's and wolves clothing and it's wolves and sheep's clothing. You know, you got people faking it to make it. That's why everybody high on drugs that got somebody else's name on the side of the bottle. These right. prescribed Williams or Joey Baker and you, you Susan Carmichael. And I'm just making up names, man. I don't know none of these people, man. I'm just saying, but you know what I mean? Don't even want to be yourself, man. Relax. There you go. All right, we're going we're gonna to put on one of your songs. Okay. So, okay. So Facebook, we're going to take a break and be right back because you can't do me the music on Facebook. We'll be right back. Thank you, everybody. So, yeah. yeah, I wish there was a way to... I was talking to my OG, he said, get the bread. I was young and naive, I'd rather chase hoes instead. A lot's changed since then, yes, y'all, I'm well aware. Gotta stop treating life like it's the truth or dare. Gotta get respect to get it, at least act like you care. These devils don't fight fair, they wanna give me the chair. Now I'm dead on the traffic stop and they don't even care. Just another kid lost like people under the stairs. You're looking for the love, but we know it's not there. Why these suckers always hating but claiming keeping it clear? I'm sharp all around, guess you could call me a square. Eight, five. Five nine East Valley, epic and rare. Feel the plan, plan the field. That's why I'm always prepared. Look at yourself in the mirror. Can't succeed if you're scared. Got family in the bed. What happened? My bad, my bad. Okay. Oh, it's me. Where my video at? Oh, you flipped it around. You see me? Yeah. A little famous in the backdrop. I'm shouts out the neighborhood. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bailey on the slack. Uh huh. There we go. What up, Ian? Get us talking first. Oh, cool. Okay. Unless you guys wanted to hear the other Diddy, I could have kept it going. I could play. It's up to you. I know the you lyrics. You want me to play? You know play. One, one, one. It's up to you. All right, let's do one more. We're going to do one more then. Okay. Yeah, one more. Let's do one up more. You. you know, I ain't, I ain't prepared for none of this. I just told you I'll pull up. like a, or, I like organic. I don't like nothing watered down, corny, fresh off the head. Ain't yeah. nothing you know, fresh, organic. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, man. Tell them to wake up, man. It's a wake up call. Wake up call, man. Noble Cinema did the video. You know, King Bailey on the beat. Boost Nation. You know, we going up, man. Stevie Bo Beats, we going up, man. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Bailey 
on the slack. Uh huh. Moose Nation Studio. Monitor. TTG. Trying to go. Yeah, I don't hear it. I posted it in there. Mm -hmm. I got a radio interview. I'm on this little uh, radio show. I have the interview on. Can y'all hear me? Live on YouTube. Copy streaming. Are we back? Okay. You ready to go back on? Yep, we're back. 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 We're back. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. If I could. Maybe oh, just so you guys know, when it plays music, it mutes you, so there's no background, so they can just hear the music. Okay. okay. Yeah, so that's, so just, just... that's just how it goes. So we've been doing this show for three years. Can you believe? Wow. It? Yeah. Where y'all where are from? Valeria. I'm from Seattle. Hey, that's what's yeah. I'm from Richmond. Okay, that's what's up, bro. Yeah. What's up, man? We appreciate it, man. Uh, like I said, I'm open, man. I got a little show with Ozcat, man. It's a few things I got to meet um, um, with, with uh, one of the head people over there, talk to her and see what's going on. And um, actually, I need to get on that. I just reminded myself because it ain't for sure. I got to talk to her. Um Matter of fact, yeah, I got to talk to her and make sure it's all good. But uh, it's a new show called V-Town Sounds. I'm going to be doing it. Shout out to my guy, Dave, and um, all those guys down there, Fred, and uh, making that happen, man. That's going to be big for me. Um, be doing a little, you know, a little stuff for the city, man, slowly but surely. Um, the shirt I got on at Hope Dealers, I met um, the wordsmith. Shout out to him. That's like my mentor, man. When I say mentor, he like the first person I've seen with a clothing line a whole ministry, uh, doing his thing, concerts, videos, like, dude, do his thing. Hope Dealers is basically helping others prosper eternally. Um, when Corona, when the world open back up regularly, uh, hopefully we can have some parades. I'll be on that float front and center. He be rocking with the mic. And uh, it's lit, man. It's an experience. You know, we perform in front of the Chamber of Commerce. And um, it's, it's community service, man. He goes from juvenile hall to juvenile hall and talk to the kids who made mistakes. You know, people – Look at people they make mistakes and they just write them off you know and uh i don't feel like that's fair man because we all the same you think about it in a certain way um if i needed a lung i'd take it from whoever would be willing to give it to me you know what i mean i'm not gonna be like oh you this person oh i can't take your lung you know like i, I mean i need it you know i mean we, together each achieves more is my motto man and that's just how i be rocking you know and so shout out to Wordsmith, man. Like I said, I met him in Juvenile Hall, man. And uh, that's what this H is over the D for. So it's helping others. Pro well, I'm going backwards, but 
that you see it helping others prosper eternally. And uh, yeah, that's how I'm rocking. So I'm a part of a lot of stuff, man. The Brethren, it's a mentor group where we work from kids from sixth grade to, uh, to, to 12th grade to stop the prison pipeline. Cause you know, um, I'm not trying to mess up the voters, but uh, one thing that always sits with me, man, I'm not saying I'm voting for Trump. You always got to say this before you say <laughs> that. Oh, you before say you what say, you want here. Yes. Before you say facts against Biden, always say you're not voting for Trump. Whoever I vote for is really none of nobody's business. That's why it's on a ballot. If it was, it would be mm. like something before. So mind your business. Uh, listen to Ice Cube, see what he's talking about, at least hear him out. I was going to say something that rubbed wrong with me with Biden is that he – was a part of that prison pipeline that everybody getting struck out in the Clinton administration. And a lot of people that fit my description were, you know, a, you know, they yeah. got out, you know, so I kind of don't rub right with me, but I got my issue with Trump too, because people don't pay attention. Um, the Central Park Five, he advocated for a death penalty campaign on five boys that wasn't even guilty. Mm. So yeah. before it became cool and we like, I don't understand why they so mad at him. He does, Trump is Trump. He not really racist to me. He just, he don't like nobody equally. He's, he went to Paradise, California that burnt down and called it pleasure. He don't got it all. He's not that smart. He don't. He's a businessman. He know dollar signs. He know how to do investments. He know how to file paperwork for bankruptcy. It's like a person who knows Spanish. No matter what you say, they're not going to learn English just because you say learn it. Learn English. They're not going to learn it. He do what works for him. But he ain't really, I don't know. Like I said, I ain't talking politics, uh, yeah. but it it just rubs me the wrong way because everybody really going to act a certain way because you did something else that they didn't want to do. I think one of the things that's so, that's so hard for people to understand is that many things can be true at once. You're hardly ever going to get me to do an either, an either or sort of thing because many things are true, are true at once. And that's certainly something that's happening here in Vallejo, there's with some of the problems that we're having here. It's many things are true at once. You know, there's many facets you could say. But yeah, well, well, it's like this. People people look at me and yeah. they would think that nothing going on because I don't. I'm on my business, man. My name Bennett. I ain't in it. Well, if you didn't invite me over, I'm not gonna be there. You know, I'm right. from the where when you come to somebody's house. You don't sit on no furniture till you speak and you don't go in their refrigerator unless they go get it. It really ain't never good to go in my fridge. I got it with you water, Kool-Aid, what you need. I got you. You ain't no need to go in my cabinets and all that. Don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? It's just out of respect. I'm the host. I'm supposed to treat you to a nice time. Right. You know, I'm, you know chivalry ain't there with me. I'm opening doors. I'm, I'm making sure. I, see, people open the door, but forget that you when you get to the table, you're supposed to pull a chair out for it, too. You know what I'm saying? Tuck her in. So I'm just giving y'all some games since y'all there, you know? Um, I ain't gonna lie, man. I got a lot of growing up to do, though. Uh, I'm just working on me, man. I go back to work here in November. Uh, that's when I'm not gonna have as much time to do the things that I. I love selling cars, but I, I really love to do music and sell clothes and and do the things and be an entrepreneur. You know, I want to do that full time, uh, but I don't mind being a part of the team because at the end of the day, I gotta feed my family and pay my mortgage and do the things that I need to do. You know what I mean? So I'm blessed. So I'm not complaining, but like I said, I'm doing everything I can to, you know, get the things I want to get. And life too short, man. You know, yeah. life short. Ain't no U-Haul behind the hearse. When you're gone, you're gone. Uh, that's out the sleigh. You know, every time I take a slogan or I hear something, man, I would never steal it from somebody. But like, yeah, that was dope and think it was me. You know what I mean? So I don't ever want to bite nobody because I'm dope. I mean, I'm dope in my own way. Everybody got something to be dope about. And that's where it comes from. They don't see that in the mirror when they look. You know what I mean? And, uh, if you're doing a lot, man, just be careful. Just just go on and just go on and eat a big old healthy steak in an alleyway with a bunch of starving dogs and see if they don't all gang up on you and attack you with that plate of steak. You hear me? Right. So at the, vice versa with cats too. You feel me? You eating a big fish fillet. Think they ain't gonna come get you. Oliver and company gonna pull up the Aristocats on your line, bro. Heathcliff, every cat you can top cat. cat <laughs> what about him, Heathcliff? Is on your <laughs> Heathcliff, Heathcliff, you're the one. I remember I that. Like, no lie, bro, I was a cartoon baby. My, the cartoon raised me. You know, my mom would say, hey, sit down, don't answer the phone, don't answer the door. I'd be like, okay. She's like, if I if they not, it's not me. I got a key. And I'd be like, okay, mama, I'm on the floor. I blame her for my nails. I bit my nails because I used to be nervous there by myself. And I never stopped. You know what I mean? Watching the Snorks and all these little cartoons, Smurfs. And I watched Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon all day. You watch Nickelodeon until it get dark. 
and then you turn it to Cartoon Network, you're up all night. You feel me? Before it went to Adult Swim with this weirdo stuff on there. Oh. For the kids, you be watching something like, what the heck? Hey, give me this remote. You ain't supposed to be watching this. I watched some Tyler the Creator show. I'm like, y'all is not watching this. And then I got I got rid of cable all the way around. We got YouTube and all that stuff, child proof everything. Yeah. You know, hey man, your kids are a representation of you. You know what I mean? And I got some good news. My kids been acting great, you know, in public. It's just they do bad at home with me, but it's all love. Your report card is your kids, you know. If they doing good, you doing good. Yeah. So so Lamont. How, yeah. How's the uh, COVID situation been for for you? Has it been good for you? Like the the whole point of having to be home and isolated did it did it change how you felt about things? Or I mean, in the beginning, I was kind of worried because I didn't know if I was going to be able to go back to work. And yeah. God answered my prayers and sent me back to work. So I was like, man, um, I got a newborn son of seven months. Man, his name's Zayden, and um, he's everything to me because he, you know, he gave me a fresh, it's a breath of fresh air. So I'm real, real. I mean, I'm not gonna play like I'm super, super cautious, but I put the sanitizer on. I wear my mask. I do what I can. I don't like it, but hey, man, God's been blessing me so far, so good. The energy I got in me. You see, this people be like, man, is he on drugs? This is me, natural, man. I got energy. They call me the energy guy, man. Like I, I got it, man. Like you know, like all day. But if I ain't talking, either I'm tired or I'm having a bad day. So I'm hot or cold. It's easy to read. People know me. You know, so, I mean, I, I'm, a, I'm a simple guy, man. I'm a homebody. I'm not going out in traffic unless I got to go do something, you know, because it's kind of a risk getting to the store when your local police department beats you up. I moved to a whole other city and get beat up by the police and then got to go to trial for two misdemeanors because I got a checkered pass. It's cold. Then they do you real janky. They slam you all on your head and choke you all out. And it's cold, bro. Then you got to go to the – but I'm, I'm alive, though, so I'll take that any day, you know. But it was just a bad situation for me. Um, he, he set me up from jump to get whooped. You know what I mean? He told me to do something that I couldn't do. And when I responded with that response, he didn't like it. He said, put your hands where I can see him. Don't move. Um, and then take the seatbelt off. And I'm like, how, bro? Like, how am I going to do that with my hands out the window? Seatbelt, where my other hand, like, you dumb. I'm like, this don't make no sense, bro. I don't feel safe. Call back up. You tripping, bro. Like, you come take it off. You got the gun. And then it just went south from there. They beat me up. And I was in my car car dealership uniform when I worked in mine. It was weak, bro. In front of my kids, one of my neighbors, my, my neighbor's son scared of the police. They just be weak, bro. They got to get some wow. officers. What I recommend is getting officers um, in communities that the people come from. Try to find whole career fairs of people who from the city who can yeah. use yeah. some intention with these acts because some of these times, they don't got to kill these people, you yeah. know? You could get cover or you can run behind some. You can shoot them in the leg. Unless you see a gun for show, like, they just be real scary. Like, there's some ex-military cats that ain't got no PTSD issues that was local. You know, they got the training, but they just guarded guns the whole time they was in service. Nobody that's got PTSD because they can trigger and kill somebody because PTSD is real. But what I'm saying is get people with more valor and more character and integrity. And who are these people in these communities, man? Not the dude that right. got picked. Ooh, look at their background. He got punked all through high school. Don't let him work here. He can do paper detail. He never lead a force. He never get a gun. He can do paperwork. You feel me? He, or IT technician or something. He can't be on the force with the badge and the gun. You know what I mean? So think about what America portrayed the police growing up. Police Academy. 48 hours. Uh, you got, I mean, just look at the perception of a cop. You got Carl Winslow. He's dope. You know, he donuts. He's a great guy. Then you got Lonzo from Training Day. You know, the sad thing about those two is you can't really judge the characters because they look the same. If you did an APB, they both black, they both cops. Right. But one going to treat you way jankier than the other one, right? So it's just, it's just like, man, perception is everything with me, but the glass is always half full with me from now on. I don't play those games because they don't do nothing but hurt me. I'm in a, I get in the way of myself more than anybody else, man. True. You know? Yeah. So, that's what I got on here for, just to let people know who I am. And if y'all got any time, if I don't want to answer the question, I'm gonna just tell you I don't want to. I don't feel comfortable. You know, I ain't gonna beat around the bush. I'm gonna be like, nah. But I feel like just people knowing who I am and where I come from is good because people got their only way what they see me as. Oh, I met him here. He's like this. Nah, Clark Kent and Superman and never be in the same room at the same time. Mm. If you understand that metaphor, just nod your head and go about your business. That's free. <laughs> you hear me? Because at the end of the day, man, I got to jump in that telephone booth to be somebody. Wow. You know, even 
don't want to be dad, I still got to be dad. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, if I don't want the lights to go out, I got to sell that Nissan or whatever used car I got to sell because I got talent, but until somebody recognizes with the money or the right proposal, it's just a dream, baby. And I'm chasing it like Nicki Mille. So it happens, you know, uh, regardless of what somebody got to say, I'm not going to condone it because as soon as I co-sign that check, I go into debt, basically. That's a metaphor as well. As soon as you give energy to somebody, man, they run off with it, man. Don't get, don't let them get your go, man. I'm big at this though, and I'm growing up. You know, when I go back to work, I'm gonna be coachable. I don't like some. I'm very prideful, and I'm beating myself out of it. You know, so I'm real big on iron sharpen iron, man. You know what I mean? Like steel sharpen steel. You only get better when people tell you about something. When I do music, for sure, constructive criticism is key. You're not leaving the studio without. If we don't like that part on that song, I don't care who you is. We got to tell you, bro. That don't really sound right. Did you say that right on purpose? Was that like that? I don't care if you're the dopest rapper. Tupac, they, they can punch on me, thug life, all you want, bro. But don't you want me to tell you that that don't that wasn't that ain't the, nah. You think every song they made was hot? Come on, man. Everybody done made mistakes and did something they gotta learn. Look how Pac started off. He was like, "I'm black, y'all. I'm black, y'all." Black and black. He was on some like empowerment, black movement stuff, and then he got beat up by the police. He went through some things, and then he came on some thug life. Pac was just a culture vulture wherever he went. You know what I'm saying? He could survive like me. You throw me anywhere. I'm gonna I'm come up out of there, all right, you feel me? Like, I went to the penitentiary, I was sick on that bus. I was like, I got there with just a bunch of dudes who didn't listen, like me, you know, and I just stayed out the way. I didn't click with nobody, I just mind my business, you know, V-Town. I made moves, though I did what I had to do, survive. You feel me, I ain't do no sucker stuff, I didn't have to sell out, I didn't have to do nothing that none of these dudes do. I'm not knocking you, but bro, you can make your life way be just be yourself. You know, I had people, real ones, hit me up like, bro, I respect you for being an individual. You know, if you wait your turn, you ain't reaching out. I don't want it if I gotta do it like that, bro. I don't want it because you gonna try to co-sign my fame, and I don't want it, bro. I know big people, big steppers in the industry, in my family. So if they ain't gave me the opportunity, what's your word mean? Right, like, right. You need to say they name. Work with big people and big distribution companies, bro. And I ain't on. So what's the point of talking to you? I want to sign my own check, you know what I mean? I know a little bit about what's going on. And um, I'm just trying to stay in my own lane, like my song, and, and push. That's the first song that got me popping, you know? Um, it's called My Own Lane uh, with Slapmaster. Shout out to Slapmaster, man. Even though, like, we had, like, a headache because we had, like, a little fallout or whatever, I appreciate it because it, it gave me growth, bro. Like, it really grew me up and told me not to do none of the things that I ever did with him. Don't ever let nobody give me free beats. Or don't ever let nobody meet me in the middle. It's always be controlled. You know, it's not a bad thing. This happened. It's history. I got him on my friends list on Facebook, on Instagram. It ain't fun. It's just facts. And, and free. And I'm not gonna be, you know, held hostage off something that happened in the past. I wish him the best. Him and his family. I don't want to see him lose. It's like I don't want to see you lose. Because what he did to me wasn't physical. It was just me being young and naive, but it'll never happen again. You hear me? Because I ain't going to do that. You know what I'm saying? So, but shout out to him, man. Send me some beats. You know the email? <laughs> Tap in, bro. Like I said, I ain't mad at nobody, bro. They know I'm dope. I've been dope for a minute. And it's can't cocky no more. It's like, I say it in my music. Um, they hate on me every day, but I'm still going to prevail. They pray on my damn phone, I still wish them real. Old school, my tongue out, so I can't feel. I'm dope like LL, smooth as Denzel. The man make the money, money never make the man. Hey, being cool ain't enough, you gotta come with a plan. I did all of that just to do that. Being cool is great. Do you got some more music to play? I mean, I do, but I mean, you would have to look it up. That's just my, uh, that's just my music that I have linked up to my name that I get paid for, like Spotify. I. I I ain't, back in the day when I was rapping, all of this new streams wasn't existing then. I was, I started rapping on cassette tapes, you know what I mean? And it's fact, high school prep rallies at, uh, at Hogan High School, my school ain't there. Like I'm a V-Town legend, bro. I'm a, I'm a little famous like the brand. Oh God, I am. I can't, look, if I talk about it. You're coming on this show, man. We are Vallejo famous. Bro, if cool. I talk too long, I'm cocky and cocky my partner. You know what I'm saying? That's my partner. Shout out cocky. Like, right, clothing. That's my homie name. You know, I'm not going to sit up here and talk toot my own horn too long. Just check me out. Am I lying? Oh, look. High school, high school pep rally. I got up there freestyle and went crazy. It was a dude named Josiah that beatboxed that day, but I still got my props because they didn't know I could do that. 
I've been rapping for a long, long time. But like I said, being cool ain't enough. You got to come with a plan. So my plan is this. Hit the people. I said, how do I get the people's attention? I got another show called Covering All Perspectives where we get political. You feel me? It ain't that I don't want to talk about certain po- uh, things. It's just I got a platform anytime, for that. Anytime you want a guest, I'd love to go. I'd love to go on that show. Anytime, man. Look, it's like this. I tell people like I told people today when they was trying to get me to sign a petition for Hakeem and all that at the domestic thing. I say, look, man, that's so disrespectful. They say, why is that? Why is that? Do you support him? I said, man. Do you go to church and talk about the Niner gang or do you focus on the sermon? And he was like, oh, I said, yeah. Oh, (laughs) I don't like like the way they're going about it. It, it, It's like this, man. People are hurt. Things happen. You know, Um, I can't speak on it. I brought it up, but I'm not going to take none of that energy and use it for that. I'm just going to bring more awareness to domestic violence and lead a politics to the politicians. You got to understand, I was never a politician before I opened my mouth anyway. I was a rap ex-convict, dad of three, well, dad of two for heck of long, then the third one just popped up. But all I'm saying, I was never in politics because I never cared. I voted one time for Obama and then I went to the pen and I never voted again. Yeah. So who, you feel what I'm saying? Uh, um, at the end of the day, they make all the policies. I, I don't really trip, but I got involved because I care about my city. You know what I mean? And I feel like I posted a Fillmore Graham video because I feel like the youth is the way to go. But Fillmore Graham did a lot of stuff out of his own pockets and did a lot of stuff the city didn't fund for him. You know what I'm saying? So we need some people to get together. You know, instead of complaining about all the potholes, let's all get some money, get some asphalt and fix the pothole. Instead of waiting for Vallejo to pull up, I'll go out there with you just like I volunteered today. With my boy uh, AJ, we pulled up to uh, Blue Rock Springs to paint the uh, the racial stuff up, but somebody already. Okay, yeah. Do things on your own. It's not. It's not to get. See, I don't mind doing it without the camera phone. See, when you pull out your camera phone to do something genuine, it takes away the genuine and the, the action. You know what I mean? Unless you got. If you got a platform, we understand. But some people just put a camera phone out just to do anything. You understand? I don't mind putting my phone up and putting it on the charger and getting my hands dirty and then posting about it later. You know what I mean? Like, I don't mind that. But a lot of people got a lot to say and they ain't doing nothing. So, I mean, I ain't really got time for that. Yeah. Like, if you ain't nothing other than running your mouth on my timeline, then this conversation is not for you. But I will speak to you with a lot of respect. You know what I mean? And Because I'm going to treat you the way I want to be treated. But... If you don't have nothing valuable to bring to the equation, it's no energy and it's no need for me to bring in. You know what I mean? Yeah. But shout out to my crew though, uh, Paul Combs, uh, Ned. I call him Paul Combs because he was my TA in eighth grade. When, oh, wow. he, when I was in seventh grade, he was my TA. He's in eighth grade, so I always call him Paul. <laughs> uh, but uh, shout out to him. That's his name. But uh, Nez and April, they got a show. It's called Baddies Keeping It Unapologetic. And it's on YouTube and it's on the cap profile as well. You can meet up with all of these people. Cap got like followers. We just started. Um, I got a podcast that I stopped doing. I just made cap replace it. I had a podcast called blackmail. I had hella pod uh, episodes. My friend, uh, Willie McCoy got killed by the police. They murdered him because he had a gun on his lap where I just want police officers on the force that are there to really try to protect and serve us. You know, like the firemen get like the fairy tales. You know what I mean? Y'all know them? Okay, I'm at my family house and I don't be here all the time. And they got a lot. Oh, okay, okay, it's good. Nah, I gotta make sure I'm okay, man. You know that's the Bilal with me, man. We gotta. I mean, I ain't gonna do nothing. I'm gonna get covered. You know, get the bag. Right. <laughs> yeah. We know who they are, so but it's good. I got the background, so they can go. What's that in the background? You know, Bilal famous. You can get that today. You can order it. I'm going to. Oh, we appreciate it, man. We got all kind of colors, man. So okay. On colorway too, uh, the Uwe edition. It's like teal, blue, and white. It's it's sold out pretty much. But I got some more coming. Yeah. Other than man, it's just music. Like I ain't got no chain yet. I'm gonna get one one day. But right now I rock these on my neck, man. This is so I can take beats from lab to lab, and I got my music on there. You never know. Now, are you are you are you able to 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 email your music? Yeah, I can email it to you. I'm gonna when when this is over, I'm gonna get send you my email on Messenger. It's all that way you can email it to me. So when we interview you again, I'll just have your music set up for you so we can play your tracks. Yeah, yeah but I wasn't really tripping. This was my time to have a moment of clarity with the V, you know, because I'm gonna right. share this. 
people are gonna look at they're gonna say oh he's well spoken or he's an idiot which it doesn't matter this was for y'all anyway y'all grew interested in me and i like building bridges you know i don't play with fire so we can walk yeah yeah you know, this is my question for both of you hmm. how do y'all two know each other how did this happen i don't know or she added me on facebook or something or did i add you i saw you on facebook yeah I've seen your post. Okay. I've seen your posts on fa on Facebook. I've seen them on Fam, and I saw your post um, about the about domestic violence. Yeah, that's there. Oh, the ball, nigga! What do you mean? What? Wow. Why are y'all out here like that? Wow, that's crazy. Sorry about that. Wow, that's all bad. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I'm at somebody else and, some that's, that's and it, it ain't good. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm focused though. It's all bad. Be safe, man. No, we good. We had a we had a okay. man. I'm just saying somebody broke something that ain't good. It's not good. Yeah. Cause y'all yeah. was wondering, man, how you guys knew each other. Cause she's more of like a a historian, man. She's more into like news and history, so. Everybody. It's kind of a, it's kind of a weird contrast a little bit. No, but I yeah. I talked to I talked to everybody. I've had all sorts. I, of I know. You know what I would have expected though? I would have expected to meet him on Duck Soup before well, I met him on your show. <laughs> I know, man. Hey, I hey, I brought other musicians on this show, Rizel. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Yeah, but he he he. We're gonna have to get him. He's gonna have to come on yeah, Duck Soup at least definitely. one time too. He you definitely gonna have to come on Duck Soup. That's another you. show we have. I don't know if you know. There's there's uh, my boys, the other dudes from Vallejo. There's Age Scott, there's Spider, and a few yeah. other dudes. We have another podcast called Duck Soup. Okay, like well, hip hop. That's like a straight hip hop yeah. podcast. Like I don't mind, I bust a freestyle. I don't mind. I don't. I don't care. Like I bust a rap, and it don't make sense. We laugh it off and move on. I ain't, you know, I ain't too full of myself. And I've been doing this. I started off just smoking weed in the backseat of my friends' cars, you know, growing up, man, and just my shut up, man, spit that rap. It'd be man, you rap too much, shut up, or spit that rap. You know, it'd be however they feeling tonight. You know, it'd be like that. You know, like we'll pop. we used to do the show over. You know, yeah, it used to be a whole bunch of people getting together, and you know. Right. Now we're doing it all on Zoom, but yeah, it's yeah. good though. Hey, yeah. man, I'm all for it, man. Positive vibes only though, man. If you a Debbie Downer, man, stay at the house, man. Uh, we ain't trying to hang out with y'all, man. You know what I mean? This ain't for y'all. You know what I mean? Everybody had a day. So in the car business, if you're having a bad day, the rule is don't come to work. Oh, you God. Yeah. Yeah, how you gonna sell a car if you mad? You know, nobody wanna buy a car from some old dry car salesman. We wanna laugh. We want you to interact yeah, with the. It's, you got crayons, pass them out, be nice, be, you know, be respectful. A job is just a job. Everybody got it. You know, a job ain't nothing. A, a police officer's a job. They just, they just don't do it right. You know what I mean? And uh, it, it just, I don't know. They just overlook the things that I think could be so simple. You know, we need to more the mental health awareness and all kind of things, man. Like Halloween should not be more domestic violence awareness like you know how many people in america that are, are in the world that are affected by domestic violence they didn't even know what it was called for years exactly it got us callous to calling the tank top t-shirts wife beaters when that's disrespectful to women and victims and all over the world like i, I, I never think about that stuff consciously yeah. until you think about it like wow yeah. this yeah. wife beater typical <laughs> man back in the day home to beat their wife that you know what I mean, and that's not okay that we acknowledge things like that. That's the type of stuff I think about. How can we make things better for the future? You know, we had our time when you were in your 30s, you had your turn. You, feel me? you ain't did nothing, you ain't gonna do nothing because your body, you getting older, you getting fatter, unless you're in the gym, you getting older and, and... clock ticking, man. You can't, you can't do nothing, man. <laughs> so so do something for the next. I'm trying to leave a legacy behind, man. Like, you know, that's all I'm trying to do. So my kids ain't got to, you know, worry about, damn, dad left a bill, man. He got to pay for this and pay for that. I'm trying to have it right. Yeah, she's going to be hot. She's going to be so mad. You said move Why? Why did y'all, why did y'all have it on? Who had it on the ground? I sat on the ground for a second. Just tell me. Oh, my God. It's all bad. I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, it's going to be up. Damn, she's Gonna get real loud probably in like two minutes. Really? Well, we should probably take a break. Take a break and like reorient. All right, All right let's do it. Okay. We'll put some on real quick. Okay, everybody, we'll be back in a minute or in a minute. Thank you so much, Gary and Pam, for listening. We'll be back.
We back. Daddy, when are we getting in the studio? Probably when when is that? <coughs> I gotta do that. I gotta say right now. What's up going back to across the bridge with you? What you about to do, dude? No cheese. 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 Out of here. Dude, I don't know. Why is he even over here? What is he out here for? Like, hey, I don't understand why kids are he out here. Like, get out of here. Like, get out of here, bro. <laughs> Go. Like, you know, I know, like, it was nothing out here for him. I don't know why he was over there. I was on the live, but I don't really pay attention. Y'all want me to do one more? Uh, you good. It's up okay. to you. Oh. Almost happened again. <laughs> Uh, uh, so I could just see if the uh, yeah, that's what you want to say. Yo. You want to play, play something else? You good? I think Y'all we're good. want to play something else? No, we're good. We're okay. <clears throat> All right. All right. Anna, you got anything for us on the history side of things? Okay. So this is a um, pretty, yeah, I got some of my favorite type, types of news. Okay. So this is pretty, this is pretty remarkable. I just learned about somebody about a, um, Sophie Petronin is a 75 year old French aid worker who was held hostage for four years by Islamic extremists in Mali. She was rescued and arrived in France and she's gonna take a little break, see your son, and then go back to continue her work with malnourished children. And she said, right. she prayed a lot. And I was like, oh man, okay. Like, is prayer, I don't know, man. That, that's just one of my things where I'm like, okay, 
I need to just keep praying, man. It's obviously like, do it's obviously doing something for her, um, for, pe for people. Um, and in Nigeria, there's demonst major demonstrations against po against police violence against the secret secret police basically they have really organized underground underground and so it's called SARS and I am what bad? Hmm? You know what I mean? no my bad that's my background noise that ain't me I'm li I'm trying that's why I keep muting it but you keep telling oh, me that gotcha. oh yeah no no you can mute it you can um, mute it dude I didn't know if you knew it was you mute or not. <laughs> I didn't okay. know if you knew it was mute or not. Yeah, if I, you need to mute it, bro. He had, he mute had it. a chest by somebody who made an action and he had to talk to little bro because bro knocked the you know I'm at my cousin house. You feel me? We we in the we in the trap. We out here reacting. We this is no, what no, it no. is. I, you know, I just I, your cousin wanna say hi. Does your cousin want to come say hi to us? Do you want to get on cam, cuz? What's say what's up? What's like up with y'all, man? Tell them where to get your news. What's going on, Cuzzo? Yeah. Welcome to Global History Radio. Yeah, me and, uh, Uli, me and Monifer got a lot of songs, man. You got it? Yeah, we got a lot of music. This Dane Breeze, Check TTG. us out, man. Check us out. We got hey, an we album. Cross, we cross over here. Yeah. I'm on this album <laughs> called Thug Passion. And uh, I'm all over it. It's a single. Um, you know, we got we got a lot of music. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah. mm -hmm. well, that's my cousin. On this on this show, when we were on the radio, yeah, we've we've gone through some some incarnations, huh? What is? <laughs> Say what? Okay, so um, then the French overseas territory. Um, we like to talk about independ independence movement. Okay. Independence movement referring to what? Um, new okay, New Caledonia, and it was a French. Oh, that was a French overseas territory. And two years ago, the archip it's an archipelago, a group of islands. It voted to remain French with fifty three point two percent of votes. And two years ago, the margin was slightly was. Wow wider with 56% voting to stay part of France and um, the Prime Minister Emmanuel Macron welcomed the result as a sign of confidence in the Republic adding that he felt humility in view of the result which, to which I say yeah you should feel some fucking humility and send back artifacts man that's we send it back the referendum was part of a series of votes agreed two decades ago following oh. violence in the 1980s mm -hmm. i didn't say that it's the background no. oh okay um it ain't me. So, sorry I, in, I, it's environment i'm not gonna do extra and go in the car and all that it's dark in my car i'm gonna just sit right here but. um yeah, so the point, okay, so you figure like, okay, well, why do people want to continue to remain part of France? The answer, I think the answer to a whole lot of things is the history. It's the history. It's like, I don't know. It's the history, man. Like, we don't, I don't know. You don't want to be disenfranchised, even though, you know, I don't know. I mean, I, ain't gonna lie. I'm like, I mean, if it, well, they <laughs> did like, a colony, a colony, and unfortunately, even if a even if a country wants to be on their own, when they've been colonized for a hundred and se um, in seventy, it was a it was a territory. Territory is different than than co than colonies. It's been um, New Caledonia has been a French territory for nearly a hundred and seventy years. He was trying to ask me. He was asking me what I would do with the artifacts. So if I wanted the artifacts, so we're talking. Sorry, we're talking about a couple different different things. France is one of the countries that has a whole lot of our of artifacts. There's um, actually my new favorite oh. person is called. Um, what is that? Man. We're. Um, France has the Prime Minister of France has a commission, and they're 
looking at returning antiquities and they've returned one in about the past two years. Um, I can't hear nothing you're saying, my bad. And yeah. I'm trying to be respectful, but if I can't make contacts, I can't, uh, I can't respond. So, uh, yeah. um, okay, so that was, cause because we've been doing the show for a couple of years, so we do have like some stuff we've it's, been ongoing, and so I understand. I'm sorry, it wouldn't make as much. Nah, I, nah, I, I can answer it, but I just need like I just gotta wait for a good time for. It. I guess when they done doing, I mean, it's like all the noises happening at once. You got little bro with the car, you know. I'm I'm, I'm in an environment where it's kind of loud. It's like being at the bar and I ain't drinking. Yeah. That would be it's pretty much, you know what I mean? I can't expect everybody to be quiet and it's not my house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we was good for like 30 minutes, though. We had like 45 minutes. We did. We did. We had a good <laughs> about time, though. So I'm trying to make sense of your question. I, I'm going to have to get more context or we can come back to it later. Or you want to give me some other question you got? Or It's not really a question. We're just like chat, like, like. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're just yeah she's just going to. um. She's going to continue on with her normal show. Oh, okay. My bad, man. Just tell me to kick that flax. Yeah, yeah. Just, just chill for a minute. But I need gotcha. to get – yeah, I want to definitely get, get some stuff from you. So when we do the interview yeah. again next time, we can ask some of your music and I get more from you. Yeah, man. You tell age, tell, tell age that I – Tell age that I brought Lamont, Lamont to us. Oh, man. I'm definitely – he probably yeah. going to see it. they probably seen it already. They're going to see it. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Good, man. Good, man. Well, I appreciate you having me on, man. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here. Okay. Um, so one okay, so um one of the my favorite reparate, my new favorite person is a Congolese activist named um was Wazulu Diabanza, and he comes right in and takes art out of the museums, like in wow. front of everybody and films it and streams it. So, you know, he there's a so he's being he's being put on trial for stealing stuff that belongs to his people, so far as so far as I'm concerned. Um, so we'll see what happens, but I am saying good, and I like his. I like his. I like his videos. Um, okay, and so last show we were talking about how Governor of California passed. He passed an initiative to set up a panel to study reparations. So that's like, you know, we hear people talk, even when some of these representatives are talking oh, about representative, oh, just give me one second, reparations. All they're doing is talking about setting up a commission to study it. That's all they're saying. They can't, you know, we just want to talk about this. Like, but the one place in the country or the world that did any reparations is the Evanston City City Council. And in 2019, they're investing in um, black owned businesses and real estate through um, income tax on cannabis. So Evanston City, Evanston, Illinois is basically ahead of the rest of the world. So yes, Lamont, do you want to say anything? Nah, I was just saying that reparations conversation is BS in my opinion because they only talk about that to try to ensure a certain type of vote in my opinion. And I mean, I, I don't. It's gonna be live on Facebook. I don't want to get no views about politics because I might hurt somebody's feelings. I can't expect to speak freely in this world on certain topics and expect people to like me. So I'm gonna just just keep that to myself for it. You can ask me my opinion in person. I probably still won't tell you, but you can still ask. You know what I mean? I got so, a question for you two, and you could both answer. What would be the best way to systemize reparations? Like, what? What do you guys have any ideas on how they should do it? What they should do? Yeah. Yes. It's much of a mess to me, honestly, man. How you gonna prove who's from where and who's what? And I mean, you got T.I. trying to sue the Lloyd, the Lloyds of London, the original 
relationships that was insured that brought all of us over here, all of our ancestors here. So how do you how do you sue a company? You got to go all the way. Oh, that's some bitch. Yeah. That's a lot of work, bro. Like, I don't know, bro. I don't, I don't even got to, I don't even have an idea of how do you even guarantee who gets what money. Because some people don't get the money if they not. It's like being Native American. If you ain't got a certain percentage in your DNA, right. you don't Money, you don't get nothing. You feel me? So it's like, man, I don't even want that money, bro. Like at the end of the day, I wasn't there. I wasn't in the fields. I didn't pick the cotton. I don't want it, bro. I don't care. And they're like, you crazy. You just wanted to say that for the interview. Well, then go home and go to sleep with that. Man, I don't got time. I don't. I don't got time because it's gonna be. I want to figure out who my people is from. I don't. I don't. I don't need no forty acres in a mule because. I'm out here grinding and getting right now with the way it is now. So what you gonna make it easier for me? Why don't you just tell the label to call me and I'll just make my own blueprint? Like, hmm. like why don't they just hit us? Why don't they just make let us all make one wish? <laughs> Give me one thing. You feel me? Like, cause honestly, you can't pay me for something I didn't experience. Now my answer are important to me but then again are you gonna give me this without nothing over my head is it gonna be an ultimatum i don't believe in getting nothing without them taxing me on it taxes taxes to me is just a continued thing of slavery we gotta pay for our labor you feel me like we work and we pay for it you feel what i'm saying so it's like slavery was free and then slavery they released them and then you had people still getting kidnapped to do slavery anyway it's just a bunch of garbage man i don't even like to talk about that because it just puts me in a foul mood because it's too much confusion you know what i mean for me because you got people who don't know nothing other than what they give you in 28 days they don't know about harlem hell fighters and other than uh you know other than what they give us every day the regular civil rights movement and books like what you're saying though with the uh with the artifacts in France and they got something to be wanting to fight about because if you get disenfranchised from a place like France, bro, that's like what a, what a, I mean, look at all that history they have to claim in that place. And if you don't hey, if you don't like being a part of it, where you gonna be from then? Where you where you gonna call your home? Where'd you come from? Right. <laughs> yeah. I, yes. just, yeah. Like, there's a museum of African civilization that just opened in, Sen in Senegal and it's been planned for 50 years. And so I was just watching a set, watching- I wanna, the museum. Pardon? I wanna go to the racist museum. Yeah. Where they pick in nannies and all the little Jim Crow uh, statues and all. They got it in a place, I think in Detroit on a campus. I just wanna go there and see if any of that stuff make me feel any type of way. You feel me? Like just because I know what it represents. Cause being a being a uh, being a jerk and being nice is a choice, and um, I feel like all of that stuff that they did to us, man. Um, I I don't I don't wish nothing. They can't help it. You know what I'm saying? They got off they got off the Mayflower compact tripping on the Indians. You know, and they uh, the Native Americans, and they did what they did. You know, history is what it is. Like I said, we celebrate stuff that don't even need to be celebrated. Dave Martin Luther King. It's all about what they want to do. And when I say they doesn't have to be a black or a white thing. It's just whoever they had control the whole time. Whoever you want it to be. It could be the Pink Panther. I don't care who it is. All I'm saying is when it comes to history for me, it's a sore subject because everybody else can talk about their their origin, but I can't never do it. I don't even got my own last name. So it's not, it's never even, and I'm not talking about on a racial tip. My dad really don't have his real last name because his dad didn't feel fit as a kid to put it on there. You know what I mean? Like. Let's put it like this, man. Things happen in life for a reason. I wasn't there. You know, I'm not going to dig all into my family because people know my family and people might not know that story. And I want to keep everything that you think about them great. You know what I mean? You ask them about it. All I'm saying is I'm doing everything to grow up on my end. And history is just tough. I didn't know you was going to hit me with heck of history. History topics. Like, you know, like, like, because I'm good with it. But then it's, it gets me thinking. Like my, my about politics and history, right? But yeah, I'm not yeah. good at. It, but I don't understand everything, so I'm gonna give you a lot of responses that. Like, That's what makes it interesting. One of the things I do, I produce public events, um, uh, uh, I, like public hit public history events where, um, you know, we show films and we have people speaking, and but the. The, the best part is the com is the conversation and seeing what people bring in. So, yeah, I hope you'll attend so that you'll attend the next ones. But because that is kind of what I do. I mean, people 
um, bringing thing, bringing history into a realm where people are and finding things that'll be that'll be interesting. Okay, for sure. Well, I didn't know it was a show that you you got a whole following. So what I'm thinking, what I got confused was you. I'm just I don't know. I just be I don't think sometimes, man. And I be moving so fast. Um, I didn't even really think to ask you about nothing and how to set it up, but it's cool. I'm natural. I don't care about what nobody. Well, got to say. Kind of the idea. Yeah. You know, we have people, you know, I have, I invite people on, you know, on, on here to do, to do their thing. Cause I appreciate different perspectives. Yeah. We try to keep it real, Lamont. We try to keep it like with, we don't try to make it a certain way. When we put people on, be yourself. We want everybody to be who they are. That's yeah. how we try to do it. But the questions is, She's kind of a historian, so sometimes she gets into history. Historian. News. Historian. Okay. Well, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get on my stuff, man. I'm gonna. I'm gonna start to. Uh, I'm gonna just have to. Excuse me. Come in again, and I want to try to be up to date on some on, on some issues. I'm gonna ask next time. See what we talking about, and I want to be able to. I like to be in tune with my speaker because I don't feel like I'll be 100 percent respectful if I don't got context. Then everything around me is a distraction. I don't get focused. It's just like how it was in the classroom. Like, I don't, I don't ever. In the classroom, in the classroom too. No, you're it's doing okay. good, man. Yeah. You're doing yeah. good. Yeah, okay. you're oh, awesome. I'm so glad. I'm, I'm I so mean, glad. you, made, you made the two hours go by. You're making the two hours go by yeah. real quick. It's already like 930. I mean. Oh, that's good, man. You know, I, I ain't tripping yeah. out. I specialize in coming up with. Last week we were talking about like a, a rat, a rat receiving a, a medal for bravery. We come up with, we come up with stuff. Ooh. Okay. So I finally watched Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle Which sticks one? and stones. All of Next them. Watch. All the sticks and stones and all the ones that are on Netflix. Okay. Yeah. What do you think of him? I thought he was really funny. Hold on, right quick, okay? Yeah. Got to bust yeah. this movie. Yeah, we were talking about him a couple months a couple months ago. Yeah, Dave Chappelle's good, man. But what? Well, then I watched the, his the one he did. He's the ones he's been doing since the quarantine. Yeah, that was that was deep. Yeah, yeah, he's brilliant. You know, I mean, I'm just fascinated by how comedians do what they do. I I mean, it. It looks so simple. It looks like he's just talking, but it's so much more. You know what it is? Hmm. What I've noticed, and I've talked to comedians, comedians are almost kind of like historians a little bit. And yeah. the fact, like, they got to read the news all the time. Yeah. They got to look up stuff, you know, so when they come out and talk about it, so, like, if they're going to make a joke about COVID or whatever, they got to yeah. know about it before they talk about it. So that's what helps their joke. So they'll read up on the news and learn different things from it, yada, yada. And then that's when they yeah. come up with their jokes. They yeah. have to know something about it before they can make any kind of joke about it. And then he sort of, and then, well, then he got the Emmy and was like, basically saying like, fuck you to all the people trying to trying to censor him. And yeah. Yep. I mean, I know people that are real mad at him, mad at him for, you know, and I don't, you know, I, I mean, I, for what he says about trans, transgender, I, I mean, you know, I don't, some of the stuff he says about transgender people kind of makes me, un, makes me uncomfortable, but that's me, you know, I'm not, it's more important to me that people go out and express and express themselves and say what they want, what they want to say. I mean. You're talking about Trump? <laughs> no, Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle, I think, is a genius because he's able to speak that freely, you know. What I think it is, I feel guilty when I can't chime in on the topic. I feel like I ain't like an active student of the game when I can't, like, show you bring up something. I should be I should be focused on all aspects. Like, I got to, you know, I got to spread my, you know. I don't know. That's how I feel. Like, if you ain't able to indulge in a conversation all the way through and, and give points and chime in, I feel like... I'm just getting taught a lesson like I'm at school. <laughs> I, like all the stuff, like I'm constantly researching stuff for the stuff for this show. And so just about everything I'm talking about, it's all stuff I'm learning. Like wow. I'm always trying to come up with new material. So what I do, I don't consider myself a teacher at all. I consider myself 
sharing stuff that's interesting because a lot of stuff and you showing me because look i'm new to this show world like i i'm not used to i do rap and stuff but like public speaking is not something that you know you either got it or you don't you're good you got a good presence you're i'm, I'm taking notes all i'm saying I'm credit i'm just giving you compliments y'all doing y'all thing thank you but we've been doing it for three years and i asked roselle i've gotten a lot better than i was three years oh, ago. oh yes yeah definitely <laughs> yeah definitely yeah, yeah. He's like, and at least since I'm not at, um, now that I'm not at your house, you can't get on my case for forgetting to turn on the mic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep, that's true. Come on, I'm, 50, I'm 52 years old too. I mean, I've had some time to pick up some, to pick up some stuff. Um, but, I mean, what well, do you have to say about canceling and all that is just, really important i mean i'm ex i'm experiencing that you know i got people all you know i had people on my facebook page that were like pissed off because i was looking forward to the next jk rowling book you know because people think she think she's trying think she's transphobic and i'm like okay a i don't know if that's the case or not but b i'm still gonna read this book i'm not gonna cut somebody out because i don't like some of their ideas. I'm just not. Hey, that's, funny. that's funny you say that because it's like whenever I talk, I'll be like, "Hey, I like that Tom Hanks movie. Just yeah. the movie that yeah. Tom Hanks in the press was recently. Nothing he voted for, just the movie." Because people, oh, you like Tom Hanks? Did you hear what he said? No, I'm talking about Forrest Gump, weirdo. <laughs> Life is like chocolate. Well, I'm sure, but well. Well, I've already had like, you know, somebody, yeah, you know, I've already had people like cutting me off and ba and bashing and bashing me because of because of supporting Hakeem. Somebody said like on Facebook, do you still somebody said on Facebook, do you endorse Hakeem? And I was like, my name has never been anywhere. I think people should vote 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 for who they want. That's not my thing. I'm not trying to get anybody. I don't care whether people think like I do at all. You know, I mean, yeah. I, 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 yeah. I just learned that uh, I just got my first dose of politics and it's, it's kind of nasty. And uh, I care to just let the politicians do the politicians thing, man. I'm not, I politic for my family, man. You want to talk to me about my wife, my kids, my mom, my dad, I can tell you all about them. We all on the same. Yeah. That's being successful. Um, more power to you. If, if, if everybody was supposed to know who you was voting for, then they wouldn't have it in a little ballot. And, and if you look at somebody's, it's not working. You know what I mean? Like, it ain't good. So vote for who you want to vote for. Don't be coerced in nothing. Um, have some integrity about what you do. Don't make somebody feel uncomfortable because they don't see the things that you see them your way. It's not your way. It's, you got to consider everything, everyone. Everybody is somebody to somebody. You know, that's somebody's son or somebody mama or somebody daughter. Everybody's somebody, man. We humans. And there's just, a legal, there's a process to, there's a process in how you go about things, okay? You know, you want, you don't like somebody being in the, you know, there's a process to go about it. And I don't think it's right to be, you don't need to be going out and like screaming and, you know, yeah, it's kind of a kind of. I don't think it's the. I think it's the ways to go about things, basically. And when you disrespect yourself, you, you gotta expect to disrespect everybody else. You know what I mean? And when you act a certain way, don't look the way you know that you should. You know how you're supposed to look. You know how you look out the mirror before you go out the house and you make sure you look right. You don't look like that when you act that way. You know what I mean? You looking real sick, and you need to check yourself at the door, man, and, and come right about yourself, man. We don't owe you. We wrong. We all wrong. Yeah. I don't care about what you got going on because the world got the same stuff going on for everybody. And sometimes people got worse situation going on. Mm -hmm. You just mm -hmm. don't. E you just don't even know, man. See, the thing for me, it's like you. There's just a fault, a false security. You know, it's like okay, maybe somebody. This is maybe somebody might not have a might not have a police record. Well, that could just mean they haven't gotten caught. You know, I don't trust anybody more than, you know, there's, I don't trust anybody basically, unless they have shown me. Nowadays, you know, it's pretty tough. Out here. Yeah. You know, and I mean, somebody asked me, I, I said how I, how I feel about Hakeem Brown hasn't changed. I, his rap sheet has been circulating 
for a long, for a long time, I saw what the expenses were, and I knew that, like, you know, the details would make me uncomfortable. It's like, don't lie to yourself, man. It, it's like, yeah, you know, information was out there, and, you know, you can, if, if you didn't realize what that meant, that's on you, you know? I mean... I don't. I don't even feel comfortable talking about it because I don't yeah. like people disrespecting the victims. So I, I, I run from this conversation day all the time. Yeah. Get out. Vote for who you think you want to vote for, and don't listen to some ex-convict who got lucky enough to sell cars. I ain't got nothing. Don't listen to me. Go buy my album. You know what I mean? Like I ain't hitting all that trouble. You know, I'm. I'm trying to. I'm trying to make it out of this place where everybody fussing and fighting over. You know what I mean? I love it to death. I want to see it change, but if it's gonna take out my take away from my inner peace, then what's the point? Yeah, you know, and most of the people acting this way get the senior discounted Denny. So it's like they 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 the elders of the community. So why am I supposed to act a certain way? I can't even get the discount yet. I gotta live twenty more years. Yeah. Way they, act, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. <laughs> yeah, and it's a bit of fun. I gotta laugh because laughs keep you from crying, man. But sometimes you need to cry, make you feel better that too you know i'm just any people can always surprise you you know somebody you thought could grade like read, down you and, like books pardon like books yeah okay i'm just saying you got the background but i'm reading this one i i, I finished it but i always read my books different i go to the the chapters that i feel like stand out the most to me and then i go back to it but it's called cry like a man and i, I finished it and, it and the book basically touched on topic i think a lot of the men in vallejo need to read it because uh, it, it just, it helps you dealing with things that we always tell people to run from. We always tell our baby boys not to cry. Don't cry, suck it up. These things that we get taught at an early age make us into the callous monsters that they depict us to be when all we wanna do is change, but we can't change because of the environment we're in, but because we need to acknowledge issues when they come. People yeah. take fault. Say me and you are best friends, something happens to me. For the rest of your life, you blame yourself because you didn't go with me that day and I died when really I was, it was just meant to be. People need to learn how to close, need, people need, we need more suicide help watch. We need like suicide hotline awareness, mental health awareness. We need to focus more on people's well being than being so ugly because people forget, even though we got conviction and a reason to act the way we do, they still have a right to, to you know, a day in court. Like man, we're not the judges here, you know what I mean? I'm not God here, so I want to focus more on me. Most of the people worried about your side of the street can't even see their side of the street. They got so much stuff on it, you know? So it's like, they just need to chill out and worry about them. And if it's politics, do politics. I'm not in politics no more, I gave up. Thank you, Vallejo, for, uh, you're famous for ruining my politician's career because I do not want to deal with it, man. I never had to block so many people in my life because they, I didn't say what you wanted me to say that night. You want to just keep poking me because I'm not reacting the way you want to react. Like, that's out. That's not cool to me. That's not fun. I'd rather do more pop. Uh, you agree? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, I don't give them what they want because this is my life. I'm an individual. Uh, I only got three names on my birth certificate, Lamont and Real Jones. Well, the second, is the, you know, so I don't, I don't, I don't answer for nobody else, man. I don't got to play that games. I had a dude walk up to me, my cousin and another friend of mine and say, Hey, what do you guys think about Hakeem Brown? It's going to affect you guys the most. You know, you guys are black. And I was like, dude, what's your name? He told me his name. I said, look, check this out. bro." Somebody just walked up and said that to you. On my, on my life. He did. I said, look, check this out, sir. This is about domestic violence awareness month. Do you yeah. want to talk? that because there's a lady on stage talking about that Hakeem and all of that take that to the ballot man go go do what you want to do man I'm not like like why does that matter to why do you want to ask me that so you can figure out what you gonna do you yeah. older than me like I could tell if a person's older than me by how they look I'm sorry that's just easy to do you know skin wrinkles up stuff like that I don't got a mustache yet so I still look young well I got one but it's like peach fuzz but I'm yeah. 34 years old, man. I've been out here, man. I ain't got to do nothing but what I've been doing. Um, really, I wish people would do more to help each other. Don't forget the word unity is in the word community, man. Don't just sit around and just let your city fall around yeah. you. I don't live in Valeo and I don't live in yeah. people Do that. I don't say that to disrespect nobody. I'm just saying, if you give me an idea, I'm willing to exercise it with you. 
You need some help? Share the share the t- share it on my timeline. You want an idea? Tap in. We're here to help everybody if they want to do something. But it, ain't no I in team, just time. So don't waste mine. I don't got time. Right. Wait. I'm, I'm trying to help everybody. But if you ain't talking about nothing, kick rocks. Bye. Like yes. I'm sorry. What it is? This yeah. is Lamont. I ain't got nothing to do with no businesses that I work for. People like to hold that against me too. Don't you work at such and such? You're not gonna blackmail me. I'm already a black male. You can't blackmail somebody that's a black male. Like I'm black and I'm a man. What you gonna do? I'm always used to being discriminated, getting pulled over, and it's never what I say it is. Like, bro, you're not gonna mess up my day. Have a good one. You know what I'm saying? More power to you. It's that simple, man. I'm not gonna tolerate it. What they gonna do to me that ain't that already didn't happen? <laughs> This I'm still alive, crazy. man. I made it far. Background. I do love books, but this is a Zoom virtual background. Yeah, no, nah, I'm not messing with you. The Zoom is cheesy because it always cuts you out. I don't like the glitches, but I kept it there so I can promote my brand at the same time. Yeah. I don't like it. I don't want the world seeing my kitchen. It's like, yeah. <laughs> back wall back here. There ain't nothing back here. Yeah. Heather and Janor, thank you so much. We've got people listening tonight. Thank you so nice. much. Nice. Like, do I sound, how do I sound? Do I sound idiotic or do I sound truthful? Am I making sense? Because when you talk, you just talk. I just want to hear what the fly on the wall. No, you're not a real fly. That's a metaphor. Because people, you got to be careful nowadays. You knew society changed when they took Congress. They changed it to congressperson. It ain't a manhole no more. It's just a, they changed all the words. You know what I mean? It's, it's a sensitive time now. It's okay with sensitivity. Um, I love everybody the same way, man. But I'm just saying, like, that's why I said I explain a lot because I don't want to offend nobody. I say something way right because you can't hold conviction nowadays. You offend somebody, now you now you getting sued. Right. <laughs> Buy hot coffee and spill it on you and sue them. Yeah. <laughs> but it was hot because it was coffee when you ordered it, like. But now nah, asking what they did they did they respond? Did they hit me? Can you, can you? I'm not sure how well they guys. How well can you? How well can you hear Lamont? Let us know. They can hear him good. I can hear him good on YouTube. Oh, really? But yeah. Sure. Okay, for sure. I appreciate y'all, man. If y'all want to hear some music, tap in, man. Follow me on all my platforms. I got a link that I sent y'all. I sent the Vallejo famous link, and then I sent that one below it. The one below it is a link that you can get a list of all my platforms, my music, my Instagram, my Facebook. I'm everywhere like air. Cool. Like, yeah. yeah, I'm everywhere, man. So all I'm trying to do is like, man, I'm networking with other artists. You got ideas, you want to work together, whatever you want to do, man, just, I'm always open, you know, uh, producers send beats to me, whoever, monifer at gmail.com, man. Well, they're definitely going to want to have, have you back for Duck Soup. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Now, nah, we gonna I'm going to be ready next time. I'm going to do some homework. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take notes next time. I'm going to shit it like real school. I'm going to do it in my own space. I just was being lazy. I've been on the road all day with my family, and I wasn't really feeling it. All like, good, man. All good. Really happy you look what it was. Because I was going to go with him, but I was going to be in the dark doing the interview. So I was like, nah, I'm going to stay. You feel me? So <laughs> that's dumb. Like, I mean, I want to go with him, but it just don't make no sense. I appreciate that you wanted to come on here, you know? I mean, I, a lot of times people are like, I invite people all the time and they're what, like. What I'm going to tell you, oh, I'm not going to go on your show. Like, for what? Yeah. That's but I, I do got a radio show I'm going to be doing on OzCat. Um, I got to meet with the lady there. Uh, I'm so sorry if you're watching. Uh, sorry for the disrespect. I haven't got to you, but I, I just got to text her, text her, I guess, or call her and, and, and see when I can come down there. But it's going to be on Thursdays. I was a part of the show as a co-host before, but now the gentleman, he, he, he let it go. He's going. He got other things in mind. He's passing the show to me. It's called V-Town Sounds. We're going to have a guest on there, and we're going to do uh, hip-hop music. And it's just a way to get Lil back on the hip scene in, another, in a positive light, you know what I mean, and get it going. Um, it ain't that it's in a negative light now. It's just like it's a lot of BS going on out there, and I feel like I want to contribute to the positivity through music. You know what I mean? And, and help out. You know, that's all I'm saying. The rap scene, man. You know, rap is rap. You know, shout out to everybody doing it. You got yeah. Serve Wood. You got uh, Lots. You got you got so many people, man, doing stuff. Scandal the Dark Lord, Zoom, uh, TTG. Oh, everybody know who's doing it, man. Shouts out to you. If you're not doing it, start doing it. If you really want. You know what I mean? Because there's so many people out here doing something. I'm, 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 I'm easy. Like, I'm stuttering. I'm, I'm telling you like this. You hit me up, 
and you're talking about something that's going to work out for us, I'm willing to at least hear you out. Okay. Yeah. All right. So mind it. I got part. If it's whack, I'm going to tell you. If it's tight, I'm going to tell you. Um, don't lie to me neither, you know, because I don't, I don't lie to nobody really, but, you know, my parents back in the day or adults when I didn't want them in my business, but I'm past that now. I hold information. I'm grown. If I don't want to tell you, I say get out of my business. So I don't want to talk about that. Mm. You know, and if you take that offensive, I'm sorry. Don't ask questions you don't want the answers to. Yeah, whoever it was that was con that was contacting me on the radio show, I was like, I was like, okay, I want to find if I'm gonna call your show, I want to talk about the stuff I'm interested in. I don't just want to, you know, talk about like. Yeah, if you come on my show, I'm gonna interview you and just ask you questions that I would just be like, so you've been doing this three years. What's your favorite part? This, that, that, that. Just ask you about being on the air and show. You know, just get to know you. Like an interview. Oh, fun. It'd be really fun. Just at some, yeah. At some point, people were like, people were like trying to get me. To, there were people that were like trying to get to me to like talk to them about um, Hakeem Brown, and I was like, I'm not involved with it in his money. I'm not involved in his in his policy. I'm not gonna, you know. I don't have answers for you people, you know. And <laughs> I represent myself. Okay. <laughs> Well, at the end of the day, man, you ain't wrong if you don't have an answer, man. You don't have to feed into people and what they got going on to fit into something that don't even matter anyway. What's Facebook do for anybody? Facebook likes don't pay my bills last time I checked. Thank you. I don't care about no Facebook likes. You know, I'm not here for you to like me, but I will treat you with respect because I want you to respect me. And that's that simple, man. You know, it's simple. We don't understand as kids, but we grown now. You know, so. Yeah. Y'all got to try and, you know, just everybody, I just think just everybody's, in, everybody's interesting. Everybody can contribute something, something of value. Yeah, everybody's important. Yeah. You know, yeah. big eyes and little U's, man, everybody can contribute something. It's just the fact that people get selfish and they, they you know, they want to play the me game when they need, they need to flip that upside down and turn it to that W, you know, and they play the we game and work together, you know, and, right. and how to do it, you know, like, I don't care. If you got an idea, let's put it in motion. If my platform can help you get you going, tap in. Some people, you know, ain't humble enough to do that. Some people will just be too prideful and never hit me. And we might have been, we might have hit it off. We might have been the best of buddies. You might be able to take over the world like Pinky and the Brain, but you don't want to do it. It's on you. You in your way. I know what I see when I look in the mirror, man. And I'm convicted when I say it, you know, because I didn't bump my head too many times. I just got to go with the flow more and uh, stop uh, stop overthinking everything. Just, just do what I've been doing. Obviously, it's working. People coming out. I just met y'all being myself. Exactly. Oh, I mean, so, well, we met, man, me and, Ro me and Roselle met on this total random, <laughs> totally random thing. And he asked me to come on the radio show. I was like, yeah, cool. Uh, so, yeah. So, like Monday... You want to keep our keep the show on Sunday nights, Rob? You think? We'll see. Okay. So I got a three day weekend next weekend. Nice. So we're yeah. trying to keep it three day. Yeah, but we were yeah. like, yeah, we do pretty well with every other week when we were doing that. So, but I'll discuss that with you. Okay. I'll discuss that. It's starting to get easier. I'm starting to get the flow. Yeah. So there's there's one more thing I got to get down. I have someone kind of watching it while we do it. So I want I want to get the music to play a little bit better. Okay. But past that, once I get that down, we're good. And I'm kind of <laughs> thinking if I should do like I used to do, where I hook my uh, turntables to it. Yeah. Or if I should just play the music from the computer itself. So I'm gonna see how it sounds when I do it with the turntables. Okay. I'm down. Yeah, I got it. I'm down for sure. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, anybody, anybody else, Heather, you know, anybody wants to come, wants to come on that show, come on this show, you know, speak your, speak your piece, tell your, tell your story, put, you know, flog your whatever, please contact us. You can post it on this page, any of the, any of the pages, message me, Anna Berkman. Um, I have some shows coming up after the first of the year when we will hopefully be able to see, you know, regardless, I'm going to be doing more stuff on streaming. Um, what else? Okay, everybody vote, whatever, vote for, you know, follow your, follow your convictions, educate your, educate yourself, 
You know, it's I, my thing. Don't listen to me. Okay. I, if there's one thing I would like people to take away from speaking with me is to like, go talk to 10 more people, go read a book, go inform yourself. Don't take anybody's word for it. Don't just like, you know, be, don't just let people right. talk to you. Research. Huh? Do the, do the right research. What's right yes. for you. Yes, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Hey, uh, so it's getting to that end. Okay. So Lamont, do you have any shout outs you want to give to anybody? Man, shout out to City of Vallejo for making me grow up, man. I realized the things that I want to accomplish because of Vallejo. I realized the things that I be involved in because of Vallejo. I realized that I am unique because of the City of Vallejo. And um, I appreciate them um, stepping up, man, and helping me out. Everybody that I met recently, all the new bridges that I'm finna cross, all my old friends and family that support me, um, I appreciate you. And ain't no love lost if we talked in a hundred years, man. Um, it can stay that way or it can't. It don't matter to me the way things are for me, man. I'm blessed, man. And I appreciate y'all, man. Like I said, for having me, uh, they gonna judge you anyway. I hope the video came out dope. But if you say you don't like it, I don't care. Maybe I do better next time. You know what I mean? It ain't gonna hurt me. You get on here and do better. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't. Really that I just knew I was going on at eight and I was almost late. Hey, we going. Yeah. Yeah. We you know, with that, any, uh, you have any like websites or any? Oh, uh, you can go to VallejoFamous.com. If you like the shirt I'm wearing, uh, it's more than just a fashion statement. I'm actually a part of it. Uh, NeighborhoodHopeDealer.com. That's my boy, Wordsmith. I consider him like a mentor. Uh, let me see. Hold on. Hey, let me ask my phone. D, I'm about to leave. I got two minutes. Can I do my little outro with the little shout outs real quick without the young boy slapping real quick? All right, good looking. That's my family in the background, man. I just had to ask him because we got two minutes. Pretty much, <laughs> man, just look me up, man. Monitor for uh, TTG. Ooh, we is at a club near you. Um, Just look me up. It's easier. Just just, just okay. add me up, man. Lamont, Uwe Jones, just like it say on the screen or whatever. You know what I mean? I don't want to make it too hard. But I'm a part of a lot of stuff. You like good music? I'm. A, I got. Well, nobody ever told me it was weak. So if it's weak, then I guess I gotta do better next time. So I ain't never heard that. Uh, got good music out. It's available or everywhere. Wake up call. I got an EP out. I got video. I got videos. You name it, man. One stop shop. Thank you guys for having me on the show. And I'm gonna do better next time. You said the Duck Soup is in the next one. That's the that's the other show. That's the other show. We're gonna have you. We're gonna have you back on this one. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna introduce you to the duck soup people and get you on the duck soup show. Yeah. So it's good, you might wind up knowing some of them on duck soup. You might <laughs> wind up knowing some of the same people. And I appreciate it. That's been tuned in with me. Everybody know everybody. You know that what right. I'm doing. True. I everybody that rock with me though. You know, because I'm everywhere. So stay yeah. tuned. More coming. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Right. Thank you for having me, man. I appreciate it. Little famous merch, tap in with me. It's good, man. I don't care what time it is. You can contact me anytime. Am I going to show up? No, but call me. <laughs> man, man, for real. Go. I'll make time for it. But hey, thank you all again, man. I'm gone. Okay. Thank you for me. so much, everybody, for in listening. Appreciate you. We'll see you next Care. time. All right. All right, now, y'all take it. All right, you too, man. All right, man. Later. All right. So that's the end of the show. Anna, yeah. Lamont, until next time. Until next time. Awesome. Good night. <laughs>